Okay, DIYers, since it's actually a particularly good day to demonstrate why you would over panel, I'm going to do a video on the solar panels also. So I have um, four panels. They're S Power. They're made by um, Samsung, and I don't think they make them anymore, but I got them used for 140 bucks each. They're 360 watts each. And um, uh, I'll just show you how I kind of set up for my test bench here. I already made a video on that battery, which is charging now. And I made another video on that battery. I haven't made a video, video yet on the Multi Plus, but I will. And uh, the F Ever charge controller, 4210AN. And then this little uh, 60 amp, 24 to 24, 24 to, to 12 DC to DC converter. So just to give you an idea this is the array in the backyard and um, it's not a very good day for for solar it is a this the clouds are coming and going it's just not ideal um, so and obviously as you can see I mean there's a tree right here there's trees there the sun rises over here so um, in order to get sun back here i have to move these things around i'll get power if i don't move them around uh, but it won't be optimal and you can even see i mean they're on chairs and tables and things right now the the angle to the sun is not optimal um you know, nothing's optimal i mean the sun's behind me right now because it's about one but uh you want these on the roof obviously if you're gonna have a permanent system but i have them just tied together i think these are renogy see this is a branch it's it's a long one so these are four there's four on per per branch there uh, I believe it's a Renogy and I the, this is all 16 uh, millimeter squared wire which is the preferred for this these panels <coughs> put out about 50 volts open circuit and about 9.2 amps open circuit so a pretty good profile for us uh, for smaller solar systems um, you know it's higher than than these mobile panels that people use and all of that but it's but it's not as high as a lot of the big panels uh, you get up above 360 uh, watt panels you, most of the time the open circuit uh, VOC the vo voltage open circuit is um, like 65 and that can overwhelm a charge controller and that is a problem because if you put too many uh too many um volts on a charge controller you'll fry it and uh keep in mind that these things panels they put out a lot more voltage when they're cold like in the morning when they first hit the, when the sun gets hit so if it's colder where you live you even even have a higher chance of frying your panel even you get double whammy you get worse sun because you're probably further north you don't get as much of direct sun i'm in san diego and then uh, in addition to that, you, uh, you, uh, you have cold temperatures with sun shining and that's, that drives up your voltage and uh, you really have to be careful. But everybody has to be careful with voltage. You know, you can't, can't series connect. I have a hundred uh, uh, volt max on, on two of the three charge controllers that I have. And so I can series connect these because they're slightly below i think they're 47 voc um, volts at open circuit so i could put two in series but that's it if i do any more than that i run the risk of frying my, my two out of the three charge controllers and i think on the third one i can go up to 145 volts and that's risky because it's right at the it's right at the limit and the only reason i might try it is because i don't I don't care that much if I break things. Uh, if you don't want to break things uh, and you're not kind of in this kind of DIY thing to see what works and what doesn't, I wouldn't do that. So, um, and I'm monitoring this stuff too. So I'm, I'm watching it to see. I'm going to try to keep from ruining things, but it's, it happens sometimes. Anyway, so that's the solar panels. And then they just come in. That wire comes under there. It's usually not pinned under the chair. Just I just moved them. And then it comes up here. And I have these MC4s which connect it here to that F ever. And that's getting upgraded to the Victron 150 in a couple of days. Um, and then 
right now this is just charging this battery and this battery is not hooked to any of this the rest of my house or at least downstairs of the house is running off of my lifepo fours which i already charged that's why i have these alligator clips i already charged this up and it's running off the multi plus so i just you know probably saved like 15 dollars literally you can't it doesn't uh, in a short term it doesn't make any sense to have all this stuff because this is thousands of dollars worth of stuff and you will save tens of dollars worth of power literally i mean a normal home puts out more wattage at a single receptacle 2000 watts anytime you know on demand than you can get out of this entirety of this well you can theoretically get 3000 watts but those batteries will be dead those 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 batteries are 2000 and this bank is 2060 watts total so uh 2.1 kilowatts just shy of that so it's it's 12 volts 160, uh, 180 amp hours between the two this one's 240 and 180 you get a few hours at 2000 watts at the most and that's assuming no loss and you know so it's you don't you don't buy um solar just to you know to 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 run it for a year and think you're going to save money because you're not it takes seven ten years to save money doing this so but it's you know it's not there's no impact on the planet it's the wave of the future and uh so that's why i like it and i think that anything we can do to move towards net zero and be self-sufficient and lower your carbon footprint is awesome and i would love to be able to just be completely off grid in the future so Eventually, I'll probably, I built a home before, and I'll probably, my next one I build will be off-grid completely, or maybe grid-tied, but only for convenience, and I'll try not to use any of the grid services, uh, or, you know, water or sewage either, if I can avoid it. So, anyways, I will talk to you all later.